This Military Makeover is presented by ABC Supply. Just two years ago, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School was the site of a tragic school shooting that claimed the lives of 17 students and teachers and injured many others. Chris Hickson, the school's athletic director, gave his life trying to protect his students and colleagues. A Navy veteran, Chris ran toward the gunfire, not away. He did what he was trained to do in the military, to help and defend the voiceless and the helpless. Military Makeover's mission is to remove some of the cares and concerns of Chris's family, Debbie, and their two sons, Tommy and Corey, easing part of their burden, having to deal with a future without a husband and father. Hickson Family Military Makeover continues right now. Good morning. It's another awesome morning here on Military Makeover. We're off to a great start. There's a lot going on. The roofers are here. Got up there, ran into a little bit of a problem. Some of the solar panels were left, but we figured it out. We got them off. They already got the roof halfway stripped. So they're going master Halco. They're in the back, banging away at the fence. That's halfway finished. We've got the guys prepping for the floor. We're going to try to finish up some drywall. So all in all, hopefully today is going to be a really, really good productive day. Got lots to do. I'll check you guys later. With the makeover hitting on all cylinders, Montel pays a visit to South Broward High School, where both Debbie and Corey are fixtures in the school community. So Debbie, we're at South Broward High School, a high school that you graduated from. I did, I graduated in 1984. Chris also taught here, right? Yeah, um, Chris started at Ely, he kind of followed me. So he uh, started at Ely when I left to come here, and then he came to South Broward. He was the athletic director and security monitor for 15 years. Um, before he moved on to Marjorie Stillman Douglas. And then Corey also took classes here. Correct, so Tommy and Corey both graduated from here and Corey was in the ESE program, the Exceptional Student Education. As he got older and graduated, um, he was able to stay till he was 22 and he took classes with Mr. Garza. There, It's called the PASS program. Good to see you, good morning to you. You had a good morning so far? They learn life skills, so that program does phenomenal things. They take them off campus and do what they call community-based instruction. And on Fridays, they do a bagel sale here, which Corey still does, um, even though he's moved on. He comes on Fridays and volunteers. While you were here at the school? Yes. Oh, yeah. that's great. Yeah. Corey, you've been helping me for over seven years. He was in the classroom for four, and then for the last three, he's been, every Friday, he's my volunteer. So every Friday he comes in and uh, he helps us with the bagel sales we deliver throughout. He gets the extra cream cheese and he's a pleasure to have, huh? I've known Corey for over, I would say close to 10 years. And uh, before he knew it, Corey and I became best of friends since his first day uh, he entered this classroom until present. We've been best of friends. I believe he's an angel among us and he brings out the best of people. And through the years, we've had a couple pictures here. What, this picture here is with Corey celebrating the White Mass. And this is a mass that's dedicated to our special population. And of course, he threw me out the way. That's why I'm not in the picture, but I'm somewhere over here. <laughs> and then, this was his father's 5K run last year. And Corey and I uh, crossed the finish line together. And this is another picture of a newspaper paper article, and here's Corey and I together again. So um, the times I get to spend with him are uh, really good times because, uh, like I said before, he makes me and my wife uh, want to do better. So we're getting ready to deliver about the three, three bagels now, but normally between uh, four and six bagels. And he helps me deliver. He collects the money. He gives them change. Hey, friends. Hey, friends. There you go. Thank you. And when we first started delivering bagels, just automatic, he always grabs my hand. So I've always felt that bond with him and closeness. Good morning. Hey. Here's your money. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Coming up, a dream kitchen gets underway and a crew of firefighters tears up the yard. 
This Military Makeover is brought to you in part by Simon. Our spectacular kitchen makeover started weeks ago with Ryan's visit to our new partner, Allied Kitchen and Bath. How much better do you think this is going to be? So much better. First, we probably at least give her a third more uh, storage in the kitchen, at least. But what's really great is that uh, the kitchen is now by itself. Uh, it doesn't go into the laundry room like <laughs> it did before. And extending it into the family room just gives her so much more storage. She's going to love this. It's a, it's a big change from what's there. And you guys not only are giving us the cabinets, you're installing them for me, which is taking a huge pressure off my shoulders. Now this complete kitchen upgrade is on schedule and on site. Ryan's kitchen dream team has arrived. We're actually bringing the new kitchen to get installed for the Hickson family that was designed by us and the people from Military Makeover. And uh, we're just excited to be a part of this project. Once I heard that we had an opportunity to support this organization, support this family, uh, we were all in. My son and my daughter graduated from Stoneman Douglas 10 years ago, and they grew up in Parkland where the tragedy happened at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. You know, no one ever thinks it's gonna happen until it really happens in your backyard. So it really means a lot for us to be a part of this. It's personal. So we have a beautiful brown cabinet called Desert Stain, and it's a very transitional door style. So not quite too modern, not too traditional, transitional style, really beautiful. We've not only supplied the cabinets, but we've got a lot of other items that we're donating. We have the kitchen sink. <laughs> These are all the brown moldings and filler pieces. I think the owner's gonna love it. The interior renovations are going gangbusters. And now, to aid us with our exterior ambitions, are volunteers from the Hollywood Professional Firefighters Local 1375. That's what firemen do, right? And they like to get their hands dirty and they like to go to work. Chris Hickson was a coach that many people know in our fire department who helped a lot of the guys, they remember him. And firefighters, that's what we do. We just don't help you when we're on duty, we'll help you when we're off duty. We're about giving back. Well, I love to see progress, especially on the outside, which means we're gonna have some landscaping going in soon. The old sod has been ripped out, and of course, this beautiful fence is coming together. James is back from Alta Forest. I love to see this brand new fence. Tell me about what we have going on here. When we heard the story, the opportunity to partner with Military Makeover and Master Halco and Alta together, it was in our wheelhouse. We have our freedom because of the men and women that have served our country, and some sacrifice all for what we have and we wanted to participate and help out in any way we could. Well, we've got a board-on-board -board fence going up. It's actually going to be on both sides of the fence, so it's going to be a good, friendly neighbor fence on both sides. Right. Um, we're putting up western red cedar pickets. Uh, western red cedar is great because it's naturally resistant to insects and decay, and it's a very stable fiber, so you don't have to worry about it warping and twisting. It's going to last for a long time. We'll have a 15-year warranty on the whole fence system. That's a great warranty. They won't even have to worry about it or do anything. Instead of standing here, why don't we uh, put up a couple of uh, boards? What do you think? Sure. Yeah, right there. there we go. Good. One more right here. Okay. There you go. All right, boss. All right, there you Thank go. You very much. James, I'll see you later. Right. Listen, right. I'm going to check in on the inside of the house. We've got a whole lot of progress happening in there because it's all about comfort, efficiency, and durability on the inside. Here's a big challenge multiple flooring types and decades of wear and tear. But we're not worried. Enter Military Makeover's official flooring partner, Tarkat, with great solutions installed by local experts, Daniel Flooring. Tarkat is doing all the flooring and the installation in the Hickson home. We've got our Rigid Core Progen. It's going to be throughout the house. 
Um, it is a floating rigid core product, extremely durable. It has the highest PSI in the industry. The PSI is 5,500, and just to give you an idea, concrete is 3,300. It has beautiful, beautiful picture on it. It looks like real wood. It's way more durable than a real wood floor. It doesn't dent, scratch. It's pet proof, it's waterproof. There are so many great things about our rigid core product. Tarquette's very honored to be a part of Military Makeover. It's a great way to give back to the community and say thank you to our veterans. We actually have veterans on our sales team and we're very proud of them. Coming up, HVAC, irrigation, and beautiful countertops. Stay tuned. This military makeover is brought to you in part by Jockey. Well, lots of progress on the outside and lots of progress going on on the inside. Our friends from Daniel Flooring installing the brand new Tarket floors. Looks great, guys. Keep up the good work. And yesterday, there was nothing here, not even drywall, and we're already installing kitchen cabinets. Allied Kitchen showing up, making great work of it. And when you're talking about great work, you're talking about Ryan Stanley, our construction manager, talking AC with our buddy Howard from Pride AC. What's going on, man? This is incredible progress. Well, you can see since yesterday, there was no, not even drywall in here. We get the drywall up, we get the cabinets in, we got uh, Tarkett flooring going in, and Howard and I were just talking about the AC. I think we're getting close, man. I'm super excited. You know, we have all this beautiful interior stuff going on, but the real important thing is the climate and keeping it cool and comfortable. That's right. We can't make progress until we get the inside climate exactly the way it's supposed to be. Plus, you want to stay cool and comfortable, too, right? Of course, right? of course. I mean, you got to keep this all looking good, bro. <laughs> I'll let you get back to work. Oh, yeah, I'll see Great you later. job, Ryan. So, Howard, good to see you. Pride AC stepping in, installing a brand new Goodman system. It was not without its challenges, right, in an older home. These homes, they have very little attic space, very small closets, our equipment's bigger. We had to make a lot of modifications so the system would work properly. Our Pride's a family-run company. Uh, my dad started in 1974. Uh, we've been in business for over 45 years, and we've been serving South Florida forever. This big event, when it came to us, we were really excited about jumping in. Everybody was affected by it, and we were excited to do our part. It's going to save them a lot of money, right? Oh, absolutely. It's going to dehumidify. We really need to focus on that here in South Florida. Absolutely. I'm going to head outside, check out the outside portion of the unit with Mike, and I'll catch up with you later, man. Good, Thank good you. job, Howard. All Thanks right. for being here. Well, from talking to my new friend Howard from Pride AC on the inside, I'm meeting up here with my old buddy Michael from Goodman. Good to see you. And, of How course, Ian on? from Pride AC working right. hard out here. Guys, what is going on? Are you planning a scuba trip together? What are you doing? No, Art, this is a nitrogen tank. We actually use this while we're brazing these units to keep the inside of the copper nice and clean. I got it. I so, got it. Well, you can take that away because I think we're all done, right, Ian? Absolutely, all right. yeah. All right. Absolutely. Sounds good. Our company, we always recognize the veterans. That's one thing that we, we take pride in. This particular job, it's a real touching story. So it's really an honor to come here and actually give them one of our top products to help them into the future. There is a lot to talk about here. We've got a fantastic unit for the Hickson family. That's right, Art. This is one of my personal favorites. It's a Goodman 16 sear AC unit, two stage unit. Um, it's going to keep them nice and cool in the summertime and it's going to keep them nice and warm in the wintertime if, no. whenever, when it ever does arrive. Yeah, if we ever Florida, do, for the few days that we do need the furnace it, right? inside will keep them nice and warm. Yeah, that's right. Well, what's the best way to set yourself up with the right system that's not too big and not too small? Folks like Pride AC, they're going to come in here and they're going to do a load calculation, make sure everything's right, and they're going to go back to the office and plug some things into the computer and come back out here and say, hey, we need this size. These guys know exactly what to do. The only thing that I'm not seeing on here is the amazing <laughs> Goodman logo. That's right. I, oh, right, you've so got it. Okay. I'm going to give you the honors of going and putting that on and really? up this job. Are you sure you're going to let me do this? Do it. Go, go for it. All right. Here we go. All right. Now it's officially a Goodman. That's right. Thank you All very right. much. Thanks for being here again, Michael. Thank you, Art. High in the makeover agenda is going to be a beautiful and easily maintained yard. We have partner New Day USA to thank for their donation, which is making possible the installation of a new irrigation system. With labor and installation courtesy of Jorge Martinez and Jam Irrigation. We are my guys doing the uh, irrigation line and we are here to try to finish this house as soon as possible. Our goal is to produce a beautiful low maintenance yard 
key to making it easy to maintain is a new Wi-Fi enabled controller from Rachio. Jorge is setting it all up and Rachio will be coming in to show us how easy it is to use. Honestly, I couldn't believe it. Um, when I first found out or the cops were going in, and then shortly after, I got a text from my brother. He found out that uh, the football coach, uh, Aaron Feist, had passed away. And shortly after, we found out that, that Coach Hickson was involved as well. And it was just another punch in the gut. Trying to process everything um, was, was crazy. You know, it was uh, the waiting for information, trying to figure out everything was, was really tough. We keep encountering people in the community directly impacted by the Parkland tragedy. Our Quartz countertop partner, Caesar Stone, their fabricators, Stone Solutions, were asked to help, and we found another very personal connection. Having graduated from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas um, and then finding out that the makeover was for uh, Coach Hickson was pretty incredible. Knowing what he did and the sacrifice that he made for those kids and for our community, it means a lot for us to be able to repay as much as we can for what he did for, for the city of Parkland. Well, we started the project at the location, making our templates, and now we're here today ready to start cutting their actual countertops for production and finishing stages. I'm really looking forward to the Hickson family coming home and viewing their new remodeled kitchen and house and being able to see their faces and know that we were able to help take part in giving them that joy. This military makeover is brought to you in part by My Computer Career. My favorite time of the day, the end of the day. The sun gets a little lower, the work slows down a little bit, but we got so much accomplished today. New flooring from Tarquette went in. We got the drywall happening. The kitchen's taking shape. Ryan's gonna work through the night, but I'll tell you what, we're gonna get started on this front yard and this backyard, all new landscaping and sod. The irrigation will get finished. All in all, it's been a great day on Military Makeover. Tune into our next episode as the Florida Panthers skate into the picture. Health and wellness are on the agenda. And the family goes on a shopping spree loaded with surprises. Watch the next Military Makeover.